want to lose weight or you want to gain weight, it's going to be a calorie scale. Let's say your body takes 2,000 calories a day to maintain and you want to cut down, you're going to have to consume less or burn more or a little bit of both. If you want to put on muscle, then you're going to have a surplus. You're not going to be able to do that much of muscle gaining if you're just eating at your maintenance level. So then you're going to have to increase calories. Of course, you're going to have protein. That's very important because that's what muscle is made of. There's people that love carbs. There's people that hate carbs. Really, what the actual science shows is if you have your protein at a certain level and you're at the calorie needs that you need, whether that's a calorie deficit, less than you need, maintenance, or increase, the carbs and fats can move and it doesn't make that much of a difference. Here's what I want you to understand about fats and carbs. They're both sources of energy. And what I like to do is, I'm not a fan of either high carb or low carb or keto or carb cycling. I'm a fan of using what's gonna work for that individual. So it's not about which diet is best, it's what exactly are you trying to accomplish? And let's optimize to do that. Protein is what builds the muscle, what tissue's made of. Carbs, fats, we talked about, they're gonna be used as fuel. And now our body doesn't have a mechanism to store protein, but it does have a mechanism to store fats and carbs. And that's why it's so common that they say, eat protein with every meal, or have protein often, or your protein is key to working out. It is because we said that that's what tissue's made of, your muscle's made of, right? So if you want to get stronger, you're going to need to get those stronger muscle fibers. If you don't have enough protein, guess what your body's going to do? It's going to tap into existing muscle for that source of protein and amino acids that you actually got, again, shooting yourself in the foot. But guess what happens when your body doesn't have any carbs. Your body actually has a way that it's going to convert those proteins into sugar, to glucose. So even if you're thinking, man, I need, I need, I need no carbs, I'm going to get super shredded, that works for a little bit of time, short term. And after a while, your body's going to figure out that you can't survive like that. So it's going to start going into survival mode. And it's going to start converting. We can do for a week or two or something if you're getting ready for like a, a trip, a cruise or a competition or whatever. But long term, you want to make sure there's a reason why there's three of them. We need all of them. Okay? So again, if your protein is set, carbs and fats can move a little bit, then as long as you stay in your calorie needs, calorie 